Hi, this is Derek Soto from Get It Done, Make It Happen. I hope everybody's doing well today. I wanted to announce a new accountability support program that I'm launching for my fellow entrepreneurs and business owners. You know, initially this program was not on my calendar for 2018, but I see a huge, huge problem that hasn't gone away, and that is procrastination. It's complacency of procrastination in launching our products, launching our programs, and actually I wrote in a book on it. I written a book on that in 2015, and now I'm revising that book, and I'm launching this service. Um, the, the second major problem I'm seeing is launching the products and also scaling those products and businesses. Um, that seems to be a huge problem because even if you launch a product, if you don't scale your product line in the, in the sense that I do with initial products and supporting products and a full transformation, and I'll talk about what that is in a moment, um, and you sit on one product solution or one or two, one with an upsell, um, and you don't scale your your, 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 and go into different categories, niches, and don't, you don't scale with different positioning angles and hooks and going horizontal and vertical with your product lines, then basically, like Michael Gerber says, you will die as a business. If you're not moving, you're standing still. You will die as a business. So many people, many entrepreneurs, we look at these statistics and we say, why? <clears throat> why is it that the statistics of 90% of businesses fail um, that, you know, within the first three years of, of, of launch? And the reason why is because they don't scale. Um, a lot of them, you know, on the initial launch, they don't even get off the ground. They, they launch, they put all this money, all this investment, all this time, and in, sometimes investor money. And what they do is they launch under one category, one positioning, one angle, and one hook and in one marketplace. And that's all they do. And, they, and, and the product doesn't, um, it doesn't even break even or it'll, you know, it fails and they give up. And there's a good product sitting on the shelf that I could take into a different marketplace and I can scale on that product with all many different supporting products in the way I do it in my perfect product mix pr framework and workflow. And I can take that, I can give it many different ang uh, positioning angles and hooks or one position with many different uh, angles and hooks and take it to different marketplaces and then dominate those marketplaces and then take that product and maybe even lead with another product and that use that one as a supporting product. So as you can see, my mind goes in many, many different ways. And most of these products can be revised. They can, they can be brung from the dead. And so, um, you know, it's, it's a shame, um, but um, I'm here to help. So let's talk about who I am and what the product, what this program's about. This program, I'm going to be uh, offering a um, two consulting um, sessions per month, along with a initial outline report on scaling your business. So the initial um, um, meeting will be for me to get to know you, find out all the information on your product, um, what branding it has put in place, what product, what the product category is, and all the pertinent information, what marketing is currently in place or, or isn't in place. And then I will devise a outline, a business scale outline for your product. Then we'll meet again and we'll go over all the different marketings, um, the marketing strategies that I have, the scaling strategies that I have put in place you will we will know by the end of that meeting what your job is and what my job is and what I'm going to take care of for you and what you're going to do and then we will hold accountability meetings you'll be given access through um, um, email and then of course with that you'll be uh, given 
uh, for each month you'll be given a free <clears throat> that comes along with the service a um, a creative it could be a funnel it could be a lead magnet it could be a follow sequence it could be help with your um, with setting up your retargeting and so there's you know these are uh, deliverables that'll be um, that I'll talk about later that come with the service and they're one they're one deliverable a month if there's any more than that then we give you a huge discount on anything above and, uh, and, and in addition to that. So let's talk about who I am to be able to support you. My name is Derek Soto. Um, I, I was in uh, construction for 26 years, hurt on the job. I was in rehab for two years. And then um, I studied everything I could get my hands on in internet marketing, information product development. I launched my, um, once I was, um, found that I couldn't go back to work in construction. I launched my business and um, I initial business and uh, I launched was the get it done and make it happen. Um, I authored the book and I also um, have a training program. Um, that three modules that's covered in the book is complacency of procrastination. First module, second module, is spiritual alignment which takes all your education and experience and packages it and and then of course you scale that initial product into other supporting products and uh, which I'm, a, I'm an expert in whether you you don't have to create those products um, there's ways for you to ID these products as long as they all work together to bring value in a full transformation and um, not just an upsell product um, that that isn't uh, that doesn't do anything for your client, um, but just actually just it, it brings value to your core product, but it doesn't give them a full um, transformation. What that is is that is a partial transformation in a one product solution, and that doesn't do your client any well any good, and it doesn't do you any well uh, uh, any good as well because. Uh, if you don't give a full full transformation, he's going to have to go out or she's going to have to go out and find other products to give them that full transformation to support that product because you gave them a, a partial solution. And then, of course, with that comes um, a full uh, solution transformation comes with many products and services, whether you own them or not. And, you know, of course, that increases your average order value per client and that increases your margins and your return on investment. So you can see where I'm going with that. And in, in there's a really a night and day in margin when you do a one product with an upsell and you implement what I do. And so um, and it's really a night and day between margins and return on investment. So anyway, let's get back to this. Um, that's who I am. I'm also um, the CEO of Lifestyle Transformation by Design, Perfect Product Mix, and Metric for Marketing. And the Perfect Product Mix is the framework and the workflow I use to, um, to scale your product lines. Metric for mar Marketing is the marketing strategies, the next level strategies I use that most people have never heard of, and you'll see in why in a minute, um, to uh, market those products in many different positioning angles and hooks in different marketplaces at one time, and to be able to scale in different marketplaces. And so, um, and of course, lifestyle transformation by design is to be able to take um, any expertise, any consultant, any um, coach and uh, package um, their their um, their service or their product and their expertise and to be able to uh, make that mobile and to be able to schedule uh, their service around their lifestyle and they can travel and 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 run their coaching programs and consulting programs and sell their products while they're traveling or or, or maybe even staying local and work and, and and spending time with their family and kids and so you work on your schedule not not the employer's schedule so anyway those are what those programs are about and that's who i am 
Um, so let's go through what I cover in this program. So my initial research uh, to develop that uh, business scale outline is and that product scale outline is I look at keywords. I look at high volume search problem solution consumer based keywords. And I and 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 those words consumer based buyer based keywords are very important. And so we'll get into that more uh, in in um, uh, in our initial consultation. The next thing you I'm going to give you is what I do is actually a high level. So take a look at this. What I do next is I go into Facebook. I look at the I research the groups, the pages, and 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 what I do is I look at the high engagement conversations within that product niche, that uh that category niche that that uh that your product is in or that idea. And I'll look at the post about the different problems. I'll look at the conversations about those problems and the solution in those conversations that have high engagement. I'll look at the lingo that they use because that lingo is very important that we'll be um, documenting and we'll be using throughout our copy. And then I'll look at the total market share that's available in that selected niche category. And I'll make sure there's plenty of market share there for you for you to enter and dominate it. And then I'll look at, uh, I'll do a competition analysis. Of course, I'll reverse engineer any competition that you have. I'll look at their funnels. I'll look at all their products that they have. I'll look at their upsells. And then I'll look at their, um, their different positioning angles and hooks. And then I'll go and I'll take a look at the niche category markets that you'll enter into. Um, a, a lot of times, the niche category that you have in mind isn't one that I uncover for you that has a lot of less competition. It requires you um, to, to do really no other work. I just take your product through marketing, sometimes a few tweaks, sometimes just adding a couple different products to support it. Maybe it's a combination of all that I just mentioned, and I'll completely revise your product, reposition it, I'll create new angles and hooks, new marketing angles, and then I'll take that those different funnels, I'll take different supporting products, and we'll go into a whole different marketplace with that one product, and we'll dominate it. And then maybe even we'll stay in that initial market as well and dominate. So, and then sometimes we'll lead with that product or I'll lead with a different one and your product will be, um, that core product that you have will now be the supporting product. So as you can see, there's many, many ways that I come up with. There's nothing that, that I, as, as far, as long as it has a need, and it has a great need and it's a great solution to a problem, to a current, current problem. Uh, and there's plenty of market share. Believe me, I can make it work. Okay, let's go on. So what I do is the next thing I do is I take the perfect product mix framework that I have. And one thing I need to say that I eat, I sleep, um, all the time and every entrepreneur should be doing this and I teach this I consult this and I'm gonna be expanding on this because this is something that isn't new but it's something that's gone away and I I, I just this is what I do this is what I eat and sleep it's the three-step goal and it's to always in everything you do in your product line development, your product launches, your initial product uh, um, startup or even ideas, your marketing and your positioning angles and hooks um, is you should always have in your mind three things. Acquire more clients, train those clients to make more purchases more often at higher price points. It's very, very important. That's the name of the game. And, and, you, and you do this by, in our, the way we do it, is we devise a full transformation for your clients. And not only that product and a upsell, that's, not, that's a partial solution that you're offering. That is a one product solution. You come up with against one of my clients 
and he enters your marketplace, he's going to dominate you because through that full tra transformation solution is a series of more products. You got a happier client, so he doesn't have to go or she doesn't have to go someplace else to get that full transformation solution to solve their problem and even problems they didn't know that they had um, to reach their goal. But now they know, so now they're off searching for other products and solutions to, 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 to get that full transformation. And what that does for you <clears throat> is that gets you a higher, happier client that evangelizes your service, but it also increases your average order value per, uh, per lifetime per client, which, which increases your, mar your margins and your return on investment immensely. So now you have the, um, the wherewithal and the income to outspend that competition in ad spend. And that's really the name of the game. Um, I outspend you, you're done. And that because I take I take the market share. And that's just the way it goes. And so um so that's one thing that we do. And so with that, I create different positioning angles and hooks, and I take that avatar in that in that category, and and then I'll create a a USP for you as well. And that unique selling proposition, million dollar message, uh, elevator pitch, whatever you want to call it, I'll take four elements. I take the avatar, I take um, the problem, I take a metric, a measurable metric, and a timeline. Because people want, sp uh, they want uh, different uh, sp specifics in their, um, in their initial solution transformation and when you give them uh, specifics that's what they want they want to know how much time how many uh, pounds or whatever and let me give you an example so it just an example we help secretaries lose 30 pounds in 30 days so the avatar is a secretary the problem is losing weight and it's it's a measurable metric by in pounds that they're looking for in Pacifics. And then in timeline, it's 30 days. So people want a, a Pacific. So that's what they want. They want to know how much, how much time, how many pounds. And so that's what we do. And that's that's very important in your messaging. Okay, so the next thing we do is we initiate the metric for marketing framework and, and, and workflow. And so what we do is based on, you know, acquiring more clients, train them to make more purchases at higher price points and more often. And so what we do is I ID your core products and then I ID all those supporting products. And then um, I'll take those and I'll make sure that they're uh, uniquely named. And so what that is, is we make sure that all your products meet all the milestone goals. And so it, within that uh, solution, um, transformation solution. And so that, that really, really is important. So they have to be uniquely named. Each milestone goal has to be uniquely named. So what I mean is, if you have a full transformation, within each full transformation is a milestone. And so you may have many different mini transformations to reach that full transformation. And each mini transformation consists of many different products to reach that mini transformation and that goal. So you may have, you know, three goals, four goals within many goals to reach that full transformation goal. So and within each mini transformation are different products and services. So you can see how. They can you can either offer them a full transformation and in 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 buying in bulk and buying the whole thing, or you can give them um, a mini transformations 
where they they buy these in sequence. And so I'll explain more of that and you can see, and these are many um, different strategies that you've probably never heard of in scaling. And I'm, um, I want to make you aware of those and how my, my team and how I think on a daily basis and what I do for my clients. And so um, what I do is I create all the lead magnets um, in, in, in this outline. And then I create all the different lead magnets, all the different bridge pages and videos, short videos. Um, I outline those in this outline. And then you want to give more training on those lead magnets and walk them through that training. And that lead magnet will be, for instance, as an example, one solution of your three-part solution and then after the um, after you walk them through that and you support them and so they you're not just giving them a lead magnet that's not what we do that's why we get high, such high conversions on the on on the on the sale is because you're educating them okay I got a lead magnet now what you're educating them right away um, so once they click that that opt-in on that lead magnet, they go to a bridge page. Now you're educating them in a short video and you're walking them through the solution and the problem on and what that solution is on that lead magnet, what that covers. And then you're telling them at the end, you're, you're educating them, look, this is one solution to a three-part problem. And if you want the other two parts that are very important to solve, in, in reaching your goal solution, then then I invite you to the conversion event, or the and so with that um, uh, core event, then it, whether it's a webinar, strategy call, then you'll be um, covering those other two elements and training them on what those other two problems are, on what your solution covers. So. It's very important. We have a, a very strategic way of taking them and working them through our funnels. And uh, we don't skimp on just handing out a lead magnet or a PDF and then, and then inviting them to a, um, a core event. Because it just, if you take the time to educate and put one more element in there like that bridge page with a video, uh, educating them on the the whole, you know the whole picture the whole three uh, the whole three picture problem uh, the whole three the whole problem and the whole solution um, and then helping them by giving them one of those initially and giving them education on the whole problem now you've got their attention so the next thing I do is what we do is um, I what I'll do is I'll apply uh, the required funnel strategy and what I do is I do something that most marketers don't do I don't know if if Russell Bronson does this but I he's you know I'm a great fan of his I think he has a great service but I know that he does some funnel stacking and he does some funnel uh, linking and I don't know if he does crisscrosses or wheel funnels like we do, but that's what I've came up with and I do. And it's something kind of new and, and um, he may do them. And what I do is I use myself uh, liquidating offer funnels, my um, CAC funnels, which is your consultant agency coaching funnels. And then I use my webinar funnels and I link those together. And then I also create a link wheel um, and I link those together and I create a funnel wheel with them as well. And so um, let me, I'll show you that in a minute and you'll see how it works. Then what I'll do is <clears throat> I come up with a strategy for your SEO for your different traffic, your SEO, your published uh, creatives, and also your follow-up email and your re retargeting and also your paid uh, traffic. So we have a strategy for paid, 
for published, for SEO, for follow-up emails, and retargeting. And then what I do is then I'll step and I'll make these steps out to your full solution. So I show you and you'll be showing your client this. And basically I take it from the problem and I show them exactly where, where they're at and where they need to be to get to their goal. And every step that's initiated, just like in this slide, <clears throat> that in every goal and every mini transformation in between to get them there. And of course, it, it consists of many different products and services at each step, which is great for them. It gives them a full transformation solution and it's great for you because it increases your average order value per client. You see where I'm going with this. And all these steps um, <clears throat> also have retargeting and follow-up sequences and different lead magnets and back-end funnels and so forth. So let me walk you through some of this real quick. Um, <clears throat> so you have paid, you have published, and you have SEO. Those are the three main traffic source categories. So you have your blog post, and you can see your blog you need to know that your blog on your on uh, within your SEO and your published and even in your paid is your hub. You got to have a blog. You have to have a blog because that's your connection. So from your blog, you will run, you know, you'll run people directly to your funnel, directly to your lead magnet directly to your and also directly to your blog you will also lead them from your lead magnet in links and seeding in within your lead magnet content to your blog and then from their blog you would lead them to your facebook group to another funnel and then to a or to a conversion event which is a strategy call or webinar and then from there, you you know you'll lead to your lead those conversion events as you see webinar, live events, strategy calls, and then of course in your opt-in on the lower part of this you'll see the lower part of this slide, you'll see you know your free PDF checklist resource guide, and within that content, you always want to not only within the funnel, but you also want to um, within your content you want to link. And you want to track that link and you want to take those links and you want to retarget based on those links as well <clears throat> so and also you want to um you want to um make sure you have um as touch points email <clears throat> on your opt-in and your opt-in forms you want to have email you want to have telephone for sms and voicemail as well so so here are um, just a real quick look at <clears throat> one of my funnels. This is your uh, self-liquidating uh, offer funnel as well. And so this is just one of the funnels um, that you'll be looking at. You can see there's ads, <clears throat> there's retargeting, there's email. And so um, you can see here that there's the um, traffic, there's the opt-in page, your authority amplifier, which is your bridge page that I was talking about with a video to educate them. And then you have your prospect filter, which is your application. And then you have your app, your fast track call, which is your, um, that is your, um, your strategy call and then new client. And then you have your signature solution on the bottom. And then you can even have a paid strategy session as well. Okay, and so this next funnel is basically the same thing. You have your retargeting. As you can see, you have your email. You have your, it you goes from traffic source to lead magnet to authority, bridge page amplifier. And then you, uh, as you can see, once they opt in with a lead magnet, there's a form that they fill out. As you know, this email, you want to include telephone uh, in that as well. In some cases, we require a uh, um, um, physical address. So we use direct mail on these high-ticket offers. 
So I use all these things. It depends on the offer. It depends on the, the price point of the offer. And because, as you know, many offers that are higher price point require more, they're, they're more touch points. So as you can see here, um, you have after your authority amplifier, which is your bridge bridge, you have, um, <clears throat> you have, um, you'll have your telephone call, you'll have your direct mail piece that goes out, your retargeting ad, as well as your email, not just email. And then you'll have your uh, conversion event. And then from there, which is your, that'll lead them to the conversion event. And then you'll have your um, webinar, strategy call, or live event, whatever it is. Uh, or it could be a, a product launch with your, you know, video two and three within the product launch. And then here is another funnel. And it's basically the same thing. This is more of a, um, of a uh, just basic uh, product uh, funnel, opt-in page, authority. See, we never go without this authority bridge page amplifier to educate because the conversions increase tremendously by, having, by implementing this element uh, between the opt-in page and the order form. Uh, many people, they go direct to the, or, direct to the sales page and then they, they uh, you know, and then which they use in place of this uh, authority amplifier. They'll go opt-in page and they'll drive traffic to the opt-in page, to a sales page, and then they'll go to the order form. On this sales page, we educate. We educate based on whatever we gave away on the opt-in page in case they don't. And of course, once they reach this opt-in page, we have pixels on every page, opt-in page, the authority amplifier page, the order form page, and we have follow-up sequences based on those um, each one of those pages, how far they, they reach in the funnel. Okay, and then of course they have the upsells. Um, so this is a typical uh, simple um, example of a funnel link that I have. I all link funnels together. Self-liquidating offer funnel and then it links to a, um, a webinar funnel and then it'll link to a, a, a CAC funnel which is a uh, consulting agency coaching funnel and I link these together. This is just this is normal. This is just uh, something that's done um, uh, every day. So if you're not doing this then you're really um, you're really on a basic level, but uh, you should be doing this. It's important because for every client, for the money that you're paying, these high costs the, uh, of, of paid, especially with Facebook prices going up, you want to you want to be able to get every client you can and squeeze everything you can out of every prospect. Anyway, this is just a quick look at some of, um, it may look crazy to some of you guys, but this is the way I, I look at my phones. Um, I'm kind of, kind of um, I'm a different type of person. This is the way I look at phones in my mindset because I'm so used to them now. So I'll, I'll turn funnels, I'll twist them, I'll link them, and um, I'll, I'll, I'll turn them upside down. I'll link them together from the, um, and as you can see in some of these, I'll put together, like in this one here, I'll put together four lead magnets and I'll put the different, with different positioning, different uh, angles and hooks for each one. Some of them the same positioning, different angles and hooks for each lead magnet. And um, some of them with the same positioning and angle with different hooks. And then um, we'll, we'll test those and then the, we'll run them through. And you'll see the cold traffic is the first part of it. Then you have your lead magnet. And then you'll have your authority bridge page. And then you'll have your conversion event in the, in the yellow. So you can see how these all work together. And then as you see some of these, the conversion events are hooked together. And you may be saying, how does that work? Well, once they go through then why not send them to another conversion event? You're already there, they're already there. Send them to another conversion event, from one conversion event to another. And so 
Uh, sometimes they'll go from one conversion event right into another funnel, another lead magnet, another um, bridge page, and then um, back into another conversion event. So you can kind of see how this works. And so, and then some of them are back to back. And then this is another one. Um, basically how this is how I work and how I think of funnels and I don't know um, many other marketers may use this in their in, in, in their marketing but this is how it looks from um, somebody's if they were looking at it from a 10,000 uh, foot view but um, this is this is how I how, how my mind works and as you can see these funnels and they all work to Live events, this is all conversion events. This is what it all leads to, all these funnels. Same thing with this one. This is how my mind works. And this is this is not even the you know the um the wheel funnels and the and the um the other funnels that I have. Um but this is how it works. And this is what, what it all leads to, really. Lead magnet authority page conversion event. So here it is again. Um, you got Facebook ad retargeting that goes to your lead magnet, authority page, conversion event. It's very important. And then here it is again. Uh, live events, webinars, calls, websites. You have pixels, retargeting, uh, email. Um, you have SMS. You have um, uh, direct mail. Um, and it all, all these are conversion events same thing on this one and so the, I'm gonna recap this and we're gonna wind this um, this video down I have uh, this is what's what's offered within the program you have two accountability consulting sessions per month and I outline those in which one of them um, you have one I'll, I'll uh, devise the brand and business scale outline report for you and we'll go through that report and we'll um, find out that we'll, we'll uh, assign tasks for you and for me and then you'll be given one deliverable uh, included per month and then of course any additional will be uh, discounted at 25 percent and so and then of course you'll be uh, you'll have access to me via email uh, anytime uh, anytime you want and so that's what this consists of and so the price is uh, $9.97, and um, we only have 25 spots available, and um, so it's it's not for everybody, but it's for those that are very serious and they can see the value of what this entails. Is if you have a product you need that's just sitting on the shelf, you put a lot of money into, thousands of dollars. If you're a company. That needs that that needs me to you know if you need me to come in and uh, on a, besides this or you want to talk to me about a separate consultation um, um, or a different type of coaching I can do that as well or one on one um, but this is what the price is it's nine ninety seven I have twenty five spots available there's no scarcity there's no bonuses this is what you get. You get the outline, the business scale outline. I, I, I meet with you for 45 minutes. We outline, have a strategy plan. I got everything in place for you. You have your assignments. I have mine. It's very simple. Then we meet again. And um, we find out how the plan's going and where we're at. You have full access to me uh, via email. And then... Um, and then, of course, you have a deliverable coming to you um, as part of the program uh, once a month, whether it's a funnel, follow-up sequences, lead magnets, and so forth. It's one lead magnet, one funnel, uh, one set of follow-up sequences. And, um, and, and then anything above that, you get a big discount on. So we'll, we'll work with you on that. But anyway, this is what it is. Um, if you're interested, go to get it done, make it happen dot com slash consulting. I want to thank you for your time and God bless Derek Soto.